Hey everyone, my name is Hasty Swampert, and as you can see on the screen, I've uh, maybe had a little too much time in my hands because I've been trying to see how far I can get in Purity Forest Weedle. And as you can see on the screen, I'm on the 17th floor, and this is a new record. <sighs> it's so bad. <laughs> but, at least at the beginning, it can take two hits from enemies compared to its other brethren like Caterpie and Wormpole, where they typically die in one hit. Which is pretty sad, but being that this is one of the few Pokemon that doesn't learn frustration and it's just bad in general... I kind of wanted to save this for an actual full-on recording. However, I sometimes like to do these things off, uh, not live, on recording. So, I got this far, thankfully, because I've had a warp scarf. And, just to give you a little, um... What's gone on so far on floor 17? I did find a big apple before I did a quick save to eat dinner. But, who knows how far we can get. Alright, now we're at floor 18. I see an enemy. This is purely luck. Because anything can just about kill me. Might as well have this for food. Nope. I was gonna say, if that's past Scarf, that would be incredibly hype. But it clearly isn't. Shoot. Okay. Blowback may be helpful. Send me to the stairs. Come on. That's not the stairs. But I do want to see what's there. But it's not safe. It's clearly not safe. Yes. String shot may be incredibly inaccurate. You know what? I should wear this instead of uh, power band. Because bounce band will at least deflect. It will at least deflect whatever I'm getting thrown at me. And that could be scary. You know what? I'll just eat this. I clearly don't have the money for that. Oh well. Not that the joy seat's going to help me. I think I have an idea where the stairs are. But I gotta do this. I'm not going to be talking too much because I'm particularly focused on not screwing up. This isn't what I was hoping for. Alright, I think I gotta be a little patient and kind of... I know where it is, which is good. really a dangerous game. And what's good is that on the bottom left of the screen you'll be able to see the map. Oh, nuts. How much does this do to you? No! Ah! 
Why does this orb always miss? You know what? I'm gonna do some more attempts. We'll see how lucky we'll be next time. But that just wasn't right. But I might as well tell you my little strategy. I'm using this Pokemon. I usually try to get items on the first few floors. Though I am in danger, so I gotta, I gotta fight back. But then this happens, because Poison's thing has Focus Blast accuracy. But the idea is, is to kind of go for the stairs whenever they're there. Which is usually what helps me get some distance compared to what I usually do. So if the opportunity to go to the stairs presents is presented to you, just take the opportunity. Um, this is awkward. I have no idea how to deal with you. I'll have to do this. Peace. What do we have? Uh, Alright, I'm gonna hang out here for a bit. Get some health, move on. Let me see if I can fight it. Come on. Come on, stop it. Hit it. This is what I'm talking about. You know what? I want to get string shot. Really, leveling isn't that important for this Pokemon because it dies to just about anything. Its accuracy is kind of crummy. Okay, that wasn't worth it. So its accuracy is kind of crummy because it misses a little more often than it probably should. At least if you're using it. Of course, there's a frustration TM and this Pokemon can't learn TMs. I clearly wasn't paying attention. He's dead. Okay, clearly I can't do anything to you. So, I'm just gonna go right to the stairs. So, I did this last night for about 40 minutes or so, and the farthest I got was to the 16th floor. But two other times, I was able to get to... I was able to get to the 15th floor. This isn't good. Let's see what kind of trap I can... Oh, it can't get laid there. Crap. Okay, looks like I'm dead here. Because now I gotta go the other way, and the Clefairy dodged my what I threw at it. Right there. Perfect. Thought I was done there. But... Okay, I think this is where I really die. Or maybe not. <sighs> Wanted that apple, but... I don't think uh, Peck was going to miss that time around. See that right there? Now that is skill. This is the worst part about Pokemon kind of following you right behind your tail. Is that... You saw those orbs right before I left floor 12. Can't get any of them or else I'd risk getting hit. Okay, clearly I can't do much to you, so we gotta do this. And... I can't do anything to you either. Okay, I think I lose right here. Yep. But the thing about... Not just me, but anyone else who's trying to do this with every Pokemon, Purity Forest, they're going to have to do what I'm doing. Otherwise, they might as well just say they can't do it. But I hope that's not the case. If anything, I'd want them to succeed, because this is really hard. And it's really frustrating, especially when you're in a dead end like this, and now I'm gonna, I'm probably going to die to this Puchiana. 
Like, see what I'm talking about with Poison Sink? It's just so inaccurate. Weedle is not blind, it has eyes. And then there's this too, where I'm having to fight against two Pokemon. What a joke. Like, see, at least Weedle kind of has a shot at beating them, because Poison Sting can take them out in a hit. But Tackle with Wormpole and Tackle with Caterpie for some of these Pokemon are two hit KOs. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Though, to be fair, this game is kind of rigged. I have photographic evidence of this game being rigged. Because... In Purity Forest, the Caterpie is level 1. But I use Caterpie that's level 1. And I get... And I do less damage than the Caterpie here. It's the dumbest thing. There were also times, there was actually one run where I ended up getting a tight belt on floor floor on the fourth floor, and well, let me do a little. Okay, there's nothing there. I'm not traveling farther, but I got tight belt, and I decided I'm gonna see how much experience I can just cheese out by just struggling and waiting at the stairs. Like, you have one job, Weedle, and it's to land this poison sting. Which it actually did this time, so, good work. I screwed up there. I think it's really just a matter of being lucky and getting a solid item at the beginning. Because there was one time where... I got a pass scarf with Caterpie, I think, on the first floor. But I ended up losing on the ninth floor because I got hit with Poison Sink. Okay, well, let's go this way. Ah, oh, crud. Let's do this. That was perfectly timed. Let me get string shot. But when I did tight belt strategy, I would just use up all the PP because struggle has guaranteed accuracy. Now that I think about it, I don't know how much I do to you. I'm dead. Not that having that Ornberry would have saved me. But like, see, this annoying accuracy missing. And this is the one, one of the few things that really drives me nuts with, um, Blue Rescue Team. And it's just the simple fact that they don't, they don't show a degree of transparency on move accuracy. It's one of the few things they should have done. They took a, it seemed like when they made this game, they took a fair amount out of the original main series, which is good. Definitely something to praise. But would it have hurt to just show the accuracy in the moves? Oh, I totally missed. Is he going to tackle me? He didn't. Like, the fact that I'm able to just go past the first tile set of the game with this Pokemon is what really makes the difference between this and Wormpole and Caterpie. Might as well. Struggle's more powerful. Oh wow, I didn't even realize I was on the 7th floor. Uh, let's go around you. The fairy's pretty powerful.
Oh, I don't do enough. That's a shame. No, I gotta say, if I'm gonna be doing... If it's gonna take me several years to do this challenge with some of these hard Pokemon, and I'm like 40 years old in doing this, I feel like I'm gonna be driven to insanity trying to do it with these Pokemon. And I don't think I'm gonna be alone on that front. What's that down there? I might as well use this. Because I usually die way too soon. Let's do it this way. One little advantage with Poison Sting is that it cuts corners. Like, here's the thing, and I never understood this, is why... I understand why they didn't want the Pokemon to get any crazy attacks like Hyper Beam. But why can't it learn some simple moves, like Attract? I never understood that. Because one run, I got a, I got a TM for Attract. And it's like getting that, it's like, oh, that's cool, but this Pokemon can't learn it. So then it's like, what do you do? Oh, awesome! Yes. We're back at it. Alright, what do we have here? I can take this. I don't have much in terms of money, but... Might as well get this. Oh, I forgot. I'll at least get these orbs. Yeah, I can't afford a Defense Scarf. Would have been an okay item option. But usually it's just trying to find where the stairs are. But it is a big deal that I got a Warp Scarf because... As luck reliant as it is, it can take you far. I'm just shaking my head at that one. It's like, oh cool, I got Warp Scarf back. This is hype. Get one shot by Rattata. Thank you so much, game. It's totally what I asked for. Swear to God. If that Pidgey uses the pebbles on me, I'm gonna have to have a little talk with its family. My pebbles. At least I have these. Alright, floor five. There is one thing I do want to touch upon. Someone went through the trouble of using a Pichu in Destiny Tower. Wow, that does nothing. And I saw a picture of what the stats are at the beginning of the, this dungeon, which is level 1. And... It's unbelievable, because... Its stats are all 1, except its hit points. Yep, I'm dead. I think I'm gonna do one more attempt. But, like, part of me is just really stubborn, and I just... I just want to keep going at it. But I know I can't really 
do this for the whole night because it is 8.01 at the moment, but I'm not in my apartment at the moment, so I kind of can't do whatever I want whenever. And I do have classes tomorrow that begin for the semester. But I prepared for that. I may brush up on it a little because this is some fancy stuff. Don't tackle. Perfect. But, like, you can see how I'm just constantly at least getting to the fourth floor, which is something. Dyed Ribbon is usually useless, but it's one of those few good things. It's, it's like, the one thing it's good at is just throwing it at enemies. Usually it's junk, but it's a way to use it. What do we have? Please tell me it's a warp scarf. Diet ribbon. Joy seed. Ooh, reviver seed. Even though this isn't really the most optimal situation to be in. Can I afford all this? Yes, awesome. It's a shame with gravel rocks because you tend to use them quickly. You don't really have much of a... Who wants to bet that I'm gonna miss another poison sting, he's gonna tackle, and I die. I'm done. I'm done.